I hope all of you are doing well in this unprecedented time. I am your instructor for Zana Islam and today I'll be continuing over with crude drugs which is chapter 3 lecture 4 and this will be part 1 of this lecture. I will be talking about adulteration of crude drugs. So our discussion points will be adulteration of herbal drugs, types of adulteration, conditions of adulteration, methods of deliberate and accidental adulteration and finally evaluation of adulteration. So what is adulteration? Adulteration in simple words or in a very simplified manner is the debasement of an article or the act of making something inferior in quality or poor in quality by the addition of another substance. The term adulteration or debasement of an article covers a number of conditions which may be deliberate or accidental. So it can be both deliberate or indeliberate. Adulteration is the practice of substituting the original crude drug. So this substitution can either be partial or full substitution with other substances which is either free from or inferior in the therapeutic or chemical properties. And adulteration can also mean addition of low grade or spoiled drugs or entirely different drug similar to that of the original drug substituted with an in intention of enhancement of profits. So in commercial context we see that adulteration is mainly done by manufacturers and suppliers with the intention of profit enhancement. We will see that adulterant is a term that we are using very often going forward. Adulterant is a substance found within other substance, other original substance such as food, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, fuel or other chemicals that compromises the safety and effectiveness of said substances. So mixing adulterant with original product compromises its entire safety, effectiveness, even therapeutic properties. So it will not be present in any specification or declared as a content of any of the substance and may not be even legally allowed. So adulterants can be sometimes useless and harmful and sometimes it will not even be legally allowed. If we look into this slide, we will see few examples in our day to day life and the foods that are adulterated. For example, tea. Tea is adulterated with used tea leaves that are processed and colored to look like original tea leaves and it can give us liver disorder. Milk is adulterated with unhygienic water and starch and it can pose a serious health hazard and cause stomach disorder. Edible oil is adulterated with unedible oils and it is highly carcinogenic. Even the turmeric powder is adulterated with lead chromate and it can also give us liver disorder. Now we will look into the types of adulteration. We can divide adulteration in two broad classes. Number one, deliberate adulteration. It can also be termed as intentional adulteration. Number two, accidental adulteration, sometimes called indeliberate adulteration. So what is deliberate or intentional adulteration? So this deliberate adulteration are normally commercial. So mainly done with the intention of profit enhancement. It is done intentionally which usually includes practice in which an herbal drug is substituted partially or fully with other inferior products. So we will see this happening most commonly in the case of volatile oil containing material where the dried exhausted material resembles the original drug and is free from the essential oil. So it's a very easy method of adulteration when we are talking about volatile oil containing material and we see that a lot of manufacturers and suppliers do it so that they can have, they can enjoy more profit. Foreign matter such as other parts of the same plant with no active ingredients, sand and stones, manufactured artifacts and synthetic inferior principles are also used as substitute. So all of these can be done in deliberate or 
intentional adulteration so that profits are enhanced and number two that is the accidental or indelivered adulteration here as the name suggests occur without the bad intention of the manufacturer or supplier so sometimes in the absence of proper means of evaluation an authentic drug can be partially or fully devoid of the active ingredient and it may enter the market so even by mistake the adulteration that happens can be termed as accidental adulteration so factors such as geographical source growing conditions processing and storage all are very important factors so when they are not maintained they influence the quality of the drug and we term it as accidental adulteration because the manufacturer and supplier did not have any bad intention or ill intention of adulteration.